Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to another episode of the Duo Group Iron Man. A couple of videos ago, we got the blowpipe from Zora, and I decided that I want to get the assembler before using it, so that way we could save as many darts as possible. So last video, we did Dragon Slayer 2, we went to Vorkath, had an extremely long grind, and as you can see, we finally have the assembler, and we can go back to Zora. We also trained the smithing up last video so that we could make, uh, well first off, the adamant bolts, so we can make ruby and diamond bolts E, but also because we need 74 smithing to make Abbey darts, which I've not made any yet, and I gotta check how many dwarven stouts we have because we need those to make the Abbey darts for the blowpipe. We could buy a bunch of dwarven stouts here in Berthorp. Uh, they stock 12 of them, so I just have to hop worlds buying them, and they're pretty much free. There's certain activities that you can do where if you're boosted and then lose the boost while you're doing that activity, it continues going on. And I wonder if that happens with like smithing stuff too. It works with stamina potions, but I'm gonna guess it probably doesn't work for smithing. Uh, we'll find out though once we lose the boost down to 73. Okay, yeah, it did stop us in the middle of the inventory. Maybe I'll just keep an extra one in my inventory at all times while I'm smithing these. Well, this is the last inventory of the darts, and I was just looking at my stats, and then I realized, look at my, uh, <laughs> my combat stats, they're just drained all the way down. And there's a fletching level for making these darts, 71. And there we go, we have converted 561 Addy bars into darts, and it took under 10 hours. It was 40 minutes, but that's still under 10 hours. No more mithril darts, now we can use Addy. And the Addy bars that we get from Zora should more than upkeep the amount of darts that we actually need for Zora. And speaking of Addy darts, here's a word from today's sponsor. Today's video is sponsored by the Ridge Wallet, which is smaller, lighter, and thinner than traditional wallets. Even though the wallet's so small, the Ridge Wallet can hold up to 12 cards in it, and it has RFID blocking technology so that way you know you are safe from digital pickpocketers. You can also choose between a strap or a clip for your cash. I have the clip here and I've been using the wallet for over a year since they sent it to me and I've had no issues. I've not been worried about the cash falling out or slipping or anything whatsoever. Using the ridge in the wallet it's very easy to take your cards out and put them back in. The Ridge team is so confident with their product that they offer a lifetime warranty on it, which means you will only have to buy one wallet ever again for the rest of your life if you buy a Ridge. Ridge has free shipping and free returns, and they have a 45-day money-back guarantee, so you can try it out and see if you like it. So go to ridge.com slash mudkip to check out their wallets, and you can see all the different designs and materials that they have. They have a bunch of other daily gear as well besides just wallets, like they have hats, cables, power banks, backpacks, and and more. I think their products make a good gift for someone that you care about or even for yourself. So again, go to ridge.com slash mudkip and use code mudkip at checkout for 10% off. And thank you again to Ridge for sponsoring this video. Just quickly alking a few things because I don't really have much of a cash stack and I want to buy more fire runes because what I have right now in the rune pouch, that's all the fire runes that I have and we're gonna need a lot to upkeep the trident. The cash stack may be low once again, but look at all the fire runes we have. Actually, wait, let me empty the rune pouch. Oh, the white stack of fire runes looks nice. Well, we are back to Zora now. After getting the blowpipe, we got sidetracked for a couple days doing Dragon Slayer 2 and getting the assembler. Uh, we have a four-way to five-way switch now because the blowpipe is a two-handed weapon. And here's the drops that we have so far. So really anything would be good to get. I mean, even a second tan Sphinx for Spook. Another Onyx for more Zen jewelry. Any unique would be cool. And we are starting off with 166 Zora KC. Here we go. Oh yeah, using the blowpipe for the first time at Zora. Oh yeah, and we get the specs too. I mean, they're obviously going to always miss, but um, at least we heal a little bit of extra health. And I almost died at Zora because my suffering recoils were turned off. Now with the blowpipe, we can do the blowpipe run. So hit, run, hit, run, hit, run. And for this phase, Zora would spit out poison clouds here. Uh, normally I would run over there. But instead with the blowpipe, um, the blowpipe can't reach from over here, but there's a little safe spot over here you can use the blowpipe for. You could also switch to long range to get over here, but I mean, you're losing DPS if you do that. So. Now after each Zora KC now, when I teleport home, I want to restore using the pool and my POH because the pool at Ferox does not restore your spec. But when I run over to the pool to restore it, it pushes me here. Uh, whereas ideally I'd want to be over here so that way it's faster to get to the fairy ring. I know it's a very minor thing, but there is a way to fix this. Because we've done the Halloween event, that means that we can grab the magical pumpkin. There's other plants you could use too, but this is free. So we're going to build the pumpkin here and then we'll just rotate the room. And now if we enter the POH, you'll see that we're going to spawn here. And then when I click on the pool, we get paths over here instead. 
And then we also get Candy, which don't actually heal anything, but it's a cool Family Guy reference. Spook has been doing so many quests. I swear she has like almost more quest points than me at this point. Okay, maybe not quite, but I think she's getting close to passing me. Well, this is going to be 200 KC at Zora, but we do have to take a little bit of a break right now and I'll show you why. The main source of food I've been using is Karambwans, and I've been kind of doing it backwards. Like you can see the way my inventory is set up. Like usually people just have a few Karambwans and the rest is like the big healing food. But I've been doing it in reverse because the Karambans are just so easy to get for me. Point being though is that we're almost out of Karambans, so I have to cook some more, but we have a bunch in the bank that we can cook. And we have the Myths Guild unlocked now, so we have the range that's right next to the bank. Yeah, this is so much nicer than having to run back and forth. I could just stand here the whole time, and then I'll show you like when I bank, I just grab more outs, and then I just click on the range, and it's just... This whole setup is just so nice. <laughs> Well, there's another uh, another unique, kind of, kind of a unique from Zora. I mean, like it is a unique, but it's not unique. Either way, it's, it's a good drop because we'll need them eventually. Third drop from Zora in 210kc. So I guess we could give that to Spook for a Fury or like when I go back to Slayer if we get another Zenai. We'll see what happens. We'll just keep it in here for now. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's uh, Onyx number three. It's good, it's good. It doesn't directly help us with Zora right now, but still a good drop. <laughs> yeah, you know, me and these Onyxes go way back. I definitely have a bit of a history with Onyxes from Zora. Okay, this will be the last Zora for now because I'm gonna go and cook some more food in game and in real life, but I was more so referring to in game. I'll go back to cooking crab once tonight. Since Spook is kind of like my dedicated skiller, she would normally be the one doing the cooking, except she's just been going really hard at the questing, so. Um, I'll be doing the cooking today. Wait, that sounded kind of sexist. I didn't mean it that way. 78. 79. And another one. There's level 80. Oh, that means I can cook sharks now. All right, well, we have a decent amount of Karam ones now, 2.6k. So let's get back to Zora for tonight. Oh, Zora Master for 250kc. Oh, wow, we just got three gold nuggets. I think this should be, this might be enough to get us to 100. Yes, we have 100, so we could unlock the upper level of Motherload Mine. I just came here to AFK for a bit because I had to edit, um, but we'll ask him if there's anything we can unlock, and then we'll unlock the Restricted Mine Access, which is the upstairs area right over here. And there we go, all of our gold nuggets are spent, but this just makes it way more AFK when you're able to mine up here. If you don't know how Motherload Mine works, on the downstairs level, for each ore that you mine, there's a one-third chance that the ore vein gets depleted, so it's in your best interest to not like be on the same vein as someone else. But upstairs, these veins get depleted based on time elapsed. So in this case, when you're upstairs, you want to be on the same ore vein as other people because that way you'll like always have more that you can mine. But a lot of people don't know that or don't care, so they just mine whatever random vein they feel like, which is fair enough. I mean, people come here to AFK. Um, you know, if you want to pay attention, you would mine iron or do granite or something. So people probably just don't look at the screen and just click on whatever ore vein they click on first. Oh. <laughs> Oh, uh, wait, wait, okay, so I just attacked a snake because I didn't want to eat too much food and I got, I'll, I'll see what that task is um, <laughs> after this kill. It's an elite task though, apparently, so it must be pretty difficult. Okay, I just checked, it's uh, kill three snakelings simultaneously. Definitely did that on purpose, it was all calculated. Need to take some money off Nightmare Zone because I have like no GP right now and uh, the Barrows items I've been using for Zora is about to be degraded, so. Gotta repair it. And also need coins to charge up the trident. All right, let's see the damages. Oh, 144K. I try to practice my dad sings a lot. That's something that dads always say when they go to restaurants. All right, then you gotta like grunts as you stand up. All right, then make some dad sounds. Let's see the damages. Ugh, I can't stand all these big fans saying hi to me. Oh, they're so freaking annoying. There's 74 mining. I saw a sapphire on the ground here, and then I realized that that was Spook that dropped it because she's the only one here uh, mining with me. So I picked it up. And first off, it's such a weird feeling picking up random items off the floor on an Iron Man. But secondly, doesn't she realize that that could be rings of recoil? That's just like, it's like her spitting in my face right in front of me. And no, that's not something I meant to. Wait, watch this. I asked Spook what her uh, stacks of ores and bars look like. Okay, just wait, watch. Okay. Yo, got her ass. Okay, one more hit. Any second, we're about to get the magic level. It's 92 magic. Bro, what is this bot wearing? These bots are freaking wild. 
Jesus. Dude, I've seen some of these bots with like over 10,000 KC. It's like they do magic only as well. That's why they have such low range levels. They probably get really slow kills, but I mean, they're okay. Here's another one. Let's see. Thir <laughs> Bro. Oh, another one. Wait, before I go in, I just want to see. Man, there's so many freaking bots here, dude. Oh, here. Wait, is that that's a different one this time, right? He likes the same though. He has the. Freaking, oh my god, this one has 12,000, bro, this is this is mad. Grandparents be like, well, this is gonna be KC number 300 and the last kill that we're gonna be doing of Zora for quite a while. Um, main reason being is because the kills are just really, really slow and we got the blowpipes. That's kind of like the big drop, I guess. Um, mainly for shamans, I wanna use the blowpipe. And we got a big stack of scales to go with it too. So I'm happy with the Zora loot for now and we'll come back later when we have at least one more upgrade, which would be the occult necklace from doing Slayer. If not others, like possibly getting the imbued heart or 94 magic for vengeance. Um, or maybe even getting like an anguish. There's so many upgrades like that that we can get that would speed up the kills because my average time has been like 315 to 330, which is just absolutely atrocious. Part of that's probably also due to my low range level, but if we can kill Zora faster, that also means we would go through less supplies. So point being is that I think it'd be in the best interest of the accounts and like time management to put off Zora for a little while longer. But we'll of course be coming back to Zora in the future. I kind of sort of made this tab here. I wanted to say it's like a Zora tab or Tab, but there weren't too many items that I got from Zora that like didn't stack onto items I had already. And those three onyxes we got saves us 9 million GP because the cost to get an onyx in terms of buying the cast runes is about 3 million GP. So 9 mil GP saved is really nice. Just doing some late night rune crafting before bed here because I don't know, I find it kind of chill to make cosmic runes and we need more for Zora. So there is level 60 rune craft, which means I can now infuse the Serb boots. Something I'm really looking forward to doing is Cerberus. But the only issue that I was going to say that I haven't really talked about in the videos, but I kind of have, is uh, prayer pots is a really big issue and you need a lot of them for Serb. This is all the prayer pots I have and I don't even know if Spook actually has any at all. Um, so prayer pots are a really big issue and like even with what I have now, it's enough for probably not even one task. So what me and Spook have been talking about is her rushing her thieving up so she can thieve master farmers without failing, which would be either 99 thieving or uh, the more likely thing which she's going to do is get 94 thieving and the already hard diary done. And for that she needs mornings and part 1 and 2 done, which is what we're going to do tomorrow. And she'll do all the gathering, all the foraging for berries and <laughs> and herbs for me while I'm the, the Chad hunter killing Cerberus. But she does actually really enjoy doing clues and I think that'd be good content for her too. Um, doing a bunch of medium clues, trying to get ranger boots and if I get the pig Asian crystal from Serb. Um, that'd be really cool and that's like you know the fun part about group iron man you each get to do the things that you like doing because i don't think i would really enjoy hunting eclectics as much um, and doing clues i'd rather just be doing slayer and pvm so with that i'm gonna do my daily double birdhouse run setup thing before i go to bed and then tomorrow we're gonna do some questing which some of the questing is also gonna be in preparation for getting back into slayer in the next video okay good night good <clears throat> i just woke up uh, that is like my first time saying a word today. Um, we are going to be doing the Fremnic Exiles quest. I think last night I mentioned that it was going to be in preparation for Slayer, and that is going to be so that we could unlock Basilisk tasks, or so we can um, kill the, the big Basilisk boys. Whatever, yeah. The only reason I didn't do this quest before was because I was only missing one requirement, which was the runecraft level, which we just got a few videos ago, so now we can do the quest. No way, guys, we finally got the magic thing from Zor. <laughs> Bro, what, what What are these items? What the hell? The perks of having a bank. I had these three lunar bars from a long time ago that I've been saving in the bank for the quest, and that also frees up a bank spot. Oh man, this quest personifies the pet rock, and you just have this very heart-to-heart -heart conversation, or not kind of conversation with the rock here. Oh look, there's a Star Wars reference. Mean Spook just watched all the Star Wars episodes just a few months ago. He kind of looks like Obi-Wan Kenobi too. I was checking the wiki to see if it mentioned that Star Wars reference and it actually didn't mention the one that I just found, um, but it does say there's another Star Wars reference during the quest too, so the J-Mods that designed this quest must be big fans. Dude actually says, this is Relica. Whoa, <laughs> the luck on that dude, what the heck. And that is the boss 
boss defeated. That is the quest complete. We get all this XP, the V shield, which we can use to kill the basilisks or the basilisk knights. But you actually have to spend slayer points to be able to get the task from Konar, Duradel, and Neve. You can fight them off task if you want, but the jaw is only one out of 5k versus if you're on task, it's one out of 1k. So it's really not worth the time uh, doing it off task. Also V shield. <laughs> I don't need a V shield. I play RuneScape. We're going to be starting Morning's End part one in a bit. I was just collecting the items um, and I decided that because I'm here I may as well just do this uh, like gnome training or whatever with the cooking and the drinks and stuff because uh, we have to do it eventually for the Western Provinces diary so let's just do it now while I'm waiting for Spook. You know what I've always wanted to do but I've just I don't know never gotten around to it is like making RuneScape foods in real life that'd be like a fun segment or a fun video or maybe an idea for the IRL channel or something. Not this food this food is just gross like chocolate chip crunchies ugh I'd much rather make the oops sorry I would much rather make something that actually sounds good good like the slop of compromise from rfd look at all these disgusting mixed drinks i would never try making any of these irl i'd much rather make something that actually tastes good and goes down smooth and is just fun to make like a shot of tequila femi i have your disgusting chocolate chip cookies i mean crunchies and that is the diary task. I decided I may as well just go and do the Western Provinces medium diary. And I just did a bunch of tasks you can see in the chat box. Uh, the only thing that we have left now though is to get the 125 Chompy KC. I've been trying to collect the arrows from Rance, like the free daily arrows that you get. Uh, here and there I've been trying to get them and uh, we're up to this many arrows now so that should be enough to last us at least for this diary. Well Spook's ready now to do the morning's end quests and it's so weird being able to just hop between activities whenever I want. Um, I guess we'll take a break from the chompies and we'll come back to it later. Taxi. Wait where am I going? Oh this is what taxis do in real life. <laughs> they uh Go, go very far out of the way so that you can get charged extra. I had to get silk for the quest, so I just thieved from the stall, and I think I just yoinked a couple of silk that this, I assume, Iron Man or group account uh, with an absolute Chad name <laughs> was trying to thief. All right, see you, dude. This is what group Iron Man is all about, getting each other quest items. Although it, it's a bit different when you put it in storage. It doesn't feel as personal, but I appreciate it either way. All right, back to let ya. More like... I'll let you hold my flipper. I mean, your paw. I mean, our hands. Prince. And morning's end part one complete. Time for everyone's favorite part two. Look at us. We're so cool. We're almost matching twinsies. Not, yeah. not literal twinsies, though. I can't wait to see that like blue line on the screen from the quest helper just showing us exactly what to do. <laughs> okay, maybe it's not going to be a line. Maybe it's just going to be like the blue thing telling us where to go. Still nice though. See, this is efficient doing diary tasks while you're questing. In West Arty, born and raised. Okay, I'm at the handholds with the Ancient Mace special attack. I don't think I've ever actually used it before in the game. I know a lot of people use it for the like the dummy and the POH, but it should restore a bunch of prayer. Nice. Okay, let's see if we could uh, first try Friday this. No, I'm on attempt number five, so. I'll catch up to you right here, yes. Good, good. Yes. Yes, we made it! Before we leave, we need to make sure to rotate it so that way we can make it back through. The plugin has like the all caps warning as well. Okay, so we have the list of 25 or 50 items. Um, I'll get the first 25 and then you can get the second 25, I guess. Just so okay. it's like easy to keep track of who's getting what. Wait, no, we'll go by the wiki because like... The wiki like has them in alphabetical order and this is like annoying to look at so. Okay, rotate mirror is switched around so we can get through here. Okay, I have all the items. I just need to free up this last inventory spot so I'm not gonna have any runes on me. And I have, yeah, I have all 25. So it just like all exactly fits in the inventory. This is the great part about group Iron Man that we both get to like do this together since the death talisman is tradable. Okay, so you turn in your items because you have a couple of tradables and then I'll hand you over the rest. There we go, morning's end part two. Yeah. First, by the way. Well, I'm gonna go finish the Western Provinces diary I was doing before. We did it, I got the KC that I need so we can go claim the hat, which is last task for the diary. Okay, spacebar through all this and oh, I guess I spacebar through the dialogue as well. We got all these collection log slots done too. So let's see, where's the gnome child at? There we go. We're gonna claim the reward from him and I will put all the rewards up on screen. 
Um, really the only thing that this is useful for is hunting more chompies because we get uh, more chance of them double spawning and then we get even more free daily arrows from Rant, which I'll try to claim here and there. Uh, so that way when we go for the hard and eventually the elite diary, I won't have to make any of my own arrows. We'll just have a big supply of them. And then we get the XP lamp going into Herblore, 7.5k XP. With that out of the way, next video we are going to be getting back into my favorite skill, Slayer. If you want to check out my duo teammate Spook Dogs videos, you can find a link to her channel in every video description. Uh, we are up to 270 quest points, here's the character summary page, and here's the stats. With that said, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope that you have a great day, and I will see you again next time.